after a hard day's work, you just want to go and club. But sometimes, to be a smooth operator, you gotta have your payday. Cause after all, clubbing is clubbing. But when you have to go clubbing, you have to wear your best suit. But be ready to have a costume ready. That's why we have a bag. Just in case. And sometimes it can get rough. So carry some brass knuckles with you. And maybe a little help. Here and there. Could also help you out. Make sure you have a taxi in case you get a little drunk. And well... Not that I really need it on normal risk cough. It makes for a shorter video. Because we're not here to party, we're here to make our payday. I don't want you hanging around that club for too long. I don't trust this to be as easy as Vlad says. Get the manager safe and get the hell out. If you get any phone numbers, I don't want to know. Because sometimes, whether you're single or you have that special someone. As soon as you get the cash, I'm signaling the pickup guy to come drive by. Thank you, Bane. Well, after all, attractions will attract occasionally. But first, you have to get in the club. Tastefully, I might add. Sorry, I don't know who you are. Oh, sure you do. I'm Magma the Bouquet. Ah, uh, whatever. You guys seem like class acts. Why, thank you, sir. Three gents, eh? Come right in. Three gentlemen. Just chilling out. We're seen. We're not wallflowers. We're just hanging around. All right, guys. There's the office. Overlooking the club. And, well, the music is loud. Be sure to check in your coat. But not this time. Because, well, I'm not much of a dancer anymore. And I'm not much of a drinker. And I'm not much of a ladies man either. Although some people may disagree with that. Problem is, with any club, there's always someone one would call struggle. Tonight, that is me. And when I call struggle... That's when you have to do something serious. There's no advantage of shooting civilians. Stay pro, man. And well, they were playing a horrible game of poker, involving a lot of money. I play some decent poker sometimes. But they were not playing a good game. So I had to take care of that. It was not a clean game. And even in the back alley, you notice your graffiti is graffiti. At least be artful about graffiti. Make something that people want to actually look at. Not some senseless, pointless stuff that is an inside joke like this. Speaking of inside, that man was an insider. And well, yeah, he was a mobster. Because he has tattoos. I don't have any tattoos. Strangely enough. And well, sometimes you just have to get in the old fashioned way. Brute force. I heard of group, Brute Cologne, but this is ridiculous. And well, you know, hefty, hefty, hefty. 
be sporting about it. I don't wash your hands after every murder. Or should I say liberation of life? I apologize if this is going to take longer than usual. But in the meantime, see if I can find a manager or the occasional bundle of $1,300. That's just lying line around for anybody to take. That's a lot of trust you put in your kitchens with your kitchen staff. Hey, speaking of the kitchen staff. Yes, that you are. Somebody noticed something. And well, it's not clean anymore. Not everybody carries a cell phone. And well, you can't always be a professional. Even if it's your job. But you still need to pay it. And well, that's why we have our suit. And well, that's the GJ. I have a few friends that are uh, DJs. Haven't been able to keep track of them though. Much less, I can't keep track of this drill. And now it's more of a waiting game than anything else right now. Going between your drills. Yes, there is a third one upstairs, I know. I should probably get to that. This drill is fucking worthless. And well, cussing that work usually isn't a good idea. But after a time, All right. you get tired of the whole package. Good luck, you notice how less and less employers have uh, health benefits and packages nowadays. Well, that's just corporate America being cheap. Hi there, corporate America. How are you today? And well, corporate America doesn't want you to get rich. Who is corporate America anyway? Corporate America isn't anybody but you. But what are, if you do have money? That doesn't make you corporate America. Corporate America is more like a collection. A collection of all the people you hate. Behind the curtains. And that try to ruin your life. Not for the sake of just being mean, but for the sake of money. This is different from being a criminal. Criminals just want their payday. They don't want to make people lose all their money. At least not individuals. They just need up enough for one good payday. Corporations want years and years of payments so they can build their own legacy. And well, does that make the police corporates or corporate America? Possibly works for corporate America. They never could get that one job. That gives one good payday. Does anybody really want to work for 40 years straight? Absolutely not. Move. Okay. Down. Because sometimes you just have to enjoy the scenery, after all. 
be able to enjoy a drink once in a while. Okay. And well, if all you do is work and enjoy a drink, then work, and then go back to work. And well, working five days in a row just so you can have one decent drink. That's not the way to do it. Because after all, people want to party too. And well, this party has been pretty lonely, has it? Because after all, I didn't start the fire. Or did I? Yeah, a lot of fire. Have you ever burned up the dance floor? Well, surprisingly, I have. Probably. It could be a full of an illegal substance as well. It's only illegal because corporate America says so. Do they want to not have fun? Well, that's the question we have to go back to again. Of course, they don't care. They don't want people well enough to be able to work every day so they can get their paydays. Is it honest work? Absolutely freaking not. Because after all, there are a lot of criminals in denial. That's just their job. Their job is not to tell the truth. Their job is to make a payday. Which a lot of people seem to forget. Can I ramble on and on about paydays? Absolutely. Can I me keep making puns about the drills? Absolutely. And well, after you see four, you see enough. Because even the most honest person can be bought. Doesn't necessarily have to be with cash. Because well, sometimes you're sliding down. We might for skip our head a little bit when I actually have this safe open. One quick moment. Everybody wants a little safety in their life. Everything is wants everybody wants security. Security is not guaranteed. People want a safe place to put the stuff. But what if you don't have stuff in the first place? Well, that's the problem with the paydays in America. They're not enough. Why aren't they enough? Ask corporate America. Why you get a mere tiny fraction, and I do mean barely a millionth of what they make daily. It's not that they have a million employees. Heck, a lot of them don't even have a hundred thousand employees. Uneven fractions. That's horrible. Speaking of horrible... Talk about on-the-job injuries. Corporations don't want to pay for your medical bills. So they get, try and get you the cheapest possible. Or try to find an excuse not to pay for your injuries while you're on the job. That's horrible.
and while they waffle on their piles of cash. You sit there in pain. All you want is a pillow. A pillow full of money would be the greatest thing ever. But, well, we know the problem with that. I can't rest my leg on a something. Like a pile full of pennies. Pennies! Nowadays, I just throw out the window. Speaking of being thrown out the window... It's rather painful. Sometimes you need a little help. And well, while normally I'd get what's in that safe as well, this video has gone on far out long enough. And I think I've made my point several, several, several times. Even maybe too many times. So, take care of your company bathrooms, please. Because after all, someone just like you may have to use them. Someone who is just looking for their payday. And whether it be $1 per hour, or $100,000 per hour. Just don't give it to corporate America. Payday would have been great yesterday, but it's good enough today. And I like you for watching this video all the way through, and not leaving some rude comment. Because after all, in the end, you could be colorful, you could hide behind a mask, but in the end, I hope you're tactical. Seriously, I hope you're tactical.